future may seem cumbersome and uncertain at times, but it is important to establish good practices that we can rely on to see us through the end of each day. Even when restricted to the confines of our own homes, we can invoke small practices that can drastically change our mood and make social distancing feel less taxing. I'm sure everyone's initial impulse, including my own, is to binge watch every show or movie that we have queued up for a rainy day. I would urge you to avoid the 24 hour Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus binge. The work of life may be more difficult, but at the end of the day, it is more enriching and helps us progress as people, even if we are limited to a confined space. The escape movies and shows provide us with is temporary. Save movies and shows for the end of the day when we can watch them with intent. During the day, your focus should be centered around a healthy balance of self-care and purpose-driven activities. As creatures of habit, the first thing we can do is treat each day like any other day and get ready for the day. While it may seem pointless to get ready to just stay home all day, the practice of preparing for each day sends a signal to the body to wake up and set you up for a more purposeful day. For weekdays when working from home, try to normalize your routine. Eat breakfast and lunch at your usual times and don't forget to get up and stretch every hour. While not all of us may be lucky to work from home, myself included, there is still work to be done. Now is the time to be proactive. Reboot that resume and start researching ways to better accommodate any unfortunate circumstances. The key, as Dory says, is to just keep swimming. Finally, at the end of the day, when you're fed up with the stresses and challenges of life, a much needed endorphin hit can be had with a good home workout. Find workouts you can do with your roommate or partner to make workouts dynamic and fun. Remember that your physical health is just as important as your mental health and the two often go hand in hand. Weekends can feel pointless, but remain vigilant and intentional. Start that project you've been putting off, read, clean, hell, make a YouTube video. If you don't already know how to cook, learn. Now is the perfect time to use fresh produce and feed your body nutritious meals. Some of the easiest dishes to cook are one pot meals that sit on the stove all day. These dishes are usually more affordable as they use tough cuts of meat, but the reward for your patience is something you get to look forward to at the end of the day. While these tasks may seem mundane, giving yourself a purpose makes getting through the end of each day a little easier. While doing our part to flatten the curve, social distancing does not mean we need to socially isolate ourselves. We are all going through this together. Set up daily FaceTime calls to check in with your loved ones. A simple call to a loved one is sometimes all it takes to remind us that we are loved and everything is going to be okay. Thank you to all the personnel working the long hours during this critical time and thank you for doing your part to flatten the curve. We are equipped to handle this virus, but not at extreme capacity. Social distancing will allow hospitals to effectively treat new COVID-19 cases, as well as existing ICU patients. Be considerate and stay safe.